Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Into the Breach, as you can probably hear my dogs blithely eating in the background, but they don't care. We've saved 27,000 people, almost 28,000 people, and we are, we got nothing left. We just got the Volcanic Hive, that's it. We have Lily Reed, who could possibly use one more range, but that's about it. We have uh, Bethany Jones, who backburn is kind of a detriment more than a strength, I find often. And, uh... Abe Asamu, who has the light tank that has plus two health, but not plus two damage. And that's really the only thing that's missing from this build. And if I had gotten more perfect islands, I only got one. I had a decent shot at uh, two more. Um, yeah, that's where we are. I did manage to fill up my power grid all the way, but it's last stand time. As my dogs will say, they don't care. They're just eating in the background. So, Kern, who's so pissed at me still. Um, is now here and once again the thing we are always gonna have to deal with is where do the friggin nodes spawn That's probably a place. That's maybe a place one might be here um, We just really don't know um, Let's bait Let's see Yeah, that's fine. So we want to put you over here. Let's put you over here just for the fact that we may need some water play so let's see what we got. This is for my family, all of them in every timeline. How sweet, Abe. And here comes... That's terrible, that's terrible. That's pretty bad, that's awful. I've had worse. Like, those are okay. Those kind of stink. So yeah, you can't be dumped. You can be dumped. You can't be dumped. Alright, what fun, what fun can we have here? I mean, who's gonna go first? You're gonna go first. Like, this hits for two. What I really wanna do is get super cute and like, well, first off, I wanna drop him in the water. That's probably my best move, even though a tank would be great here. Um, We could actually set punch over here and then do some additional fire damage and push you off this way. And you might just have to take the hit for three because that's why we got the extra health, right? So we got more spawns and right now there's not a lot I can do about those spawns. Because like I said, dunking is going to be better here. We'll put most of the damage on this. Uh, the question becomes... Well, this is, this is kind of risky. If I do it like this, we'll take one damage. If I punch down here, you're not on fire yet. But I do want to get that person off the nose, so that's better. Alright, so we go like, oh wait. I could have actually blocked the spawn. Alright. If we're going to do this move, we might as well block one spawn. I don't even care about the fact that I am uh, doing this now. And fortunately, that spawn's only going to do one damage. Alright. So now you're off. You get hit for four. You get hit for zero. Enemies emerge last. Get dunked, scrub. Huh, forgot the swim part of sink or swim. She's great. Alright. So fire damage on the alpha is always important. We'll take a hit here. So shields down, red alert. Because we do get a health revive once we get through this. Now that one's going to be a problem. And that's going to be a problem. Okay, please don't move too much. That's terrible. That's also pretty bad. Alright, right now you do nothing. I can punch you to death. Probably better if I swap him in the water. What about this? Like, you actually do nothing. 
So if I punch you, I hate leaving this guy up. I don't think I have much of a choice right now. Like, if I do it like this, we can set him on fire. I gotta punch the... Whoa, wait. Okay. So, you're in danger. You're in danger. We can't really make a lot of use of our danger nodes today. Like, we swap here. That's fine. Punch here. That's fine. This actually... Okay, this sets two things on fire. It actually kills this guy, so that's probably better than this. I'd say. Alright. It'll have to do. Okay, so side damage is something we're gonna have to watch out for. Too bad we didn't get any hits on those. Alright, this could be ugly. It got ugly. Okay. Alright, this might be a decent time to, uh, I can't really swap you very well. So you're not on fire anymore? Oh, it's this one that's on fire. Okay. Like, what I'd love to do is something like this. That still gives us one grid damage. Which we might have to resist, but one grid damage is about as good as two. And it stops the big explosion. Leaves this guy up, which sucks a little bit. I can't actually pull you out right now. Um, if I punch you, that actually kills you. Is that a problem? I mean, I'd be swapping this guy. If I do the artillery shot here... We're gonna have to. We're, have to, we're just gonna have to leave this up for now. We got all of our health buffs for now. The unfortunately, the lava flow is not gonna do anything for this guy. And these guys are flying right now. All right. Like the alternative would be something like this. And that moves him out of threat range. Which means I can swap you over here. Like so. And then go and punch you up so that you're in range. That means that bomb's gonna do two. So no matter what, we take two grid damage. But it sets us up a little better for next turn. I think. Well, at least we haven't taken like a billion grid damage this turn. I mean, the alternative, I'd love to push this guy over here and knock out the spawn, but... <sighs> Yeah, there's only so much I can do here. We'll just we'll just eat the two damage. Oh, can I can I tank anything? Tanking doesn't do a lot, because I can push that off. And then if we push you down one shot, that's three damage here, but that's still good shot. So so no matter what, we're stuck. Maybe not the best move I've ever made, but you know, I've made it this far, so I'm not doing too bad. Alright. 
Congratulations, you're on fire. Congratulations, you're on fire. So that one's dead. That one's dead. That one's gonna go off. Hopefully I get a resist. Probably won't, but that's why we bought all the extra grid stuff, right? Okay, come on! Don't be flying for just this one moment. Nothing. Death. No resist. And you guys, I can totally deal with you. You could screw me. Okay. Okay. All right. We got a lot of we got a lot of action here. And not a great way to move some of these things. Like I need to protect I need to protect the power cores first. So you need to get pushed down. That'll actually kill you. But that's okay. Like, fire's not going to kill him, unfortunately. What does this shot look like? Alright, that first off, that kills Lily, so we can't do that just yet. But that does, that does do the kind of two birds, one stone thing. Okay. Environment goes first. You cannot make the move I need you to make. You can't even make it down there yet. Okay. So if we swap... Okay, if we swap, it's going to have to be this one. It's gonna have to be right here, isn't it? Because then we fire this one, and uh, oh, that kills Abe. So, but we're on the last turn anyway, so we don't have to kill all these guys. Oh wait, no, it doesn't kill Abe because we swap here. And then you should be able to move down because you have one, two, three, four, move. We punch you over here and that'll be fine. Here goes nothing. No, there's actually nothing. And I can't reset, no. All right, well, what's plan B? Plan B is to take two more damage, which sucks. Because I cannot move this right now, but... Alright. But it's like, there's only so many places I can go there. So that's nothing, that's nothing. And I guess... Well, we don't want to, we don't want to kill our own people, so... Congratulations, you're on fire. Okay. Not as clean as I would have liked. Hopefully I get a resist here. I really need that health regen in a second. If I had just been able to move that guy over one tile. Alright. Three is about as good as four. So brace yourselves. How does this fall not kill our group? Oh well, I'll take it. And Rinfill Bomb kill. Come on. Hive's too big. That's what she said. That's actually what she said. Deploying the bomb. 
There we go. So that's a good omen. And our pylon layout is not the worst. Okay. attacking this one. You're attacking the bomb. We really need to get our tank out this turn. So this this bomb's just gonna have to... well if it goes down to one then the uh, scion will actually kill it. We go down to one here. So I need to pop this guy out, and yet somehow move this guy over. Well, if I can move him over there, like I can move you over here to get that good. I'd love to be able to move you here, but you'll still do two damage no matter what, so over here I'll have to do. Really want to get a tank out here. So where does that leave my artillery? Like if I drop you here, that blocks a spawn. And we get to kill things. That's not terrible. I really don't want this shot going off and to go down to one on the first try, but I can't let this guy stay up. Just can't. And this does not have the same effect. So it's going to be blocking a spawn here. Uh, we're just going to have to try and survive turn to turn, aren't we? Alright. Yeah, I do want to break that rock down. So I'll do it like that. Punch you this way. Like, the problem is, is that if I move this guy over here, he's still going to attack. So this thing's, this stuff's dead no matter what. Well, unless, of course, I can actually get him out, so. Let's set the tile on fire. I don't like this move very much, but it's the last stand, so why we bought all that extra energy is there's there's so many things I could do better here please kill this thing pretty please thank you resist no nope. all right we're down to we're down to the end no more mistakes no more mistakes How cheeky do we want to get? Like right now that one's the biggest problem. Although they're all pretty bad problems. Like you're attacking here. I'm blocking this shot right now. I can take this guy out with the artillery by moving him on the hazard tile. Yeah, so you're not a threat, and I can punch you down this way. Okay, so this turn's, this turn's gonna go okay. Actually, I might even be able to get a tank out this turn. Like, 
Like, can we get a tank out and block another spawn? I don't think we can do all that. So, the goal here, because we do not want to set that on fire, that ends the game, is we put you here. That means attack order environments first. This guy's going to get sunk. So you're sunk. You have got to get punched down. Because right now you're not threatening anything. Alright. We can just move you over. Put you back towards the middle here. We'll drop a tank down here. And this tank will go pew pew this way. Alright, that one's gonna be a problem, but. Okay, environment first. There we go. So you're dead next turn. There was fire damage, right? Okay, enemy blocks. That's gonna be a problem. Okay, please don't. Oh, there's always there's always some jerk. All right. Okay. That ends the game. That ends the game. That ends the game. So how do we want to solve this? And we have to, oh, we have to actually move off of these tiles. Like, if I swap this down. Because once again, we have the cave-in first, and that cave-in's going to fill in that lava patch. I feel like shooting up here is going to be fine. We can actually punch you out and kill you, but is that the best move? Because right now you're not attacking, but I'd love to dunk you. You're a bigger priority. You're probably the biggest priority. Okay, so probably my best bet. Let's start moving around here. I may have to stay and punch you. We've got to get you out of here. But can we get you... Okay, that spawn doesn't matter. Because it's going to get caved in on, I think. So if we go like this... I kind of like leaving the rock tile there, but I kind of like setting it on fire more. Alright. That still leaves this guy up. Alright, see, this is, this is why i got to think these things through. Alright. Like, I'd love to be able to push this guy down. You do three damage. You do three damage. That sets the bomb on fire. But the bomb can be on fire for a little bit, as long as it doesn't explode. So that's okay. You die next turn, so that's fine. means we can swap you down here so you swap to kill you push back to kill this one you take this hit because he's gonna die next turn and we push this way setting the bomb on fire yeah I hope uh, Kern took out insurance on that bomb yeah this is this is all right and we have one to two spawns all right. Okay, bomb on fire. Okay. Only moderately nervous about all this, but it doesn't look like anything's taking a hit, so. Okay, that's all land again. So that spawn's still happening. Okay, charge beetle. 
Charge Beetle actually blocked by the tank is not awful. Because that limits the moves he can do. Okay, we got a win. First time in a long time, I actually got a win. Let's not screw this up. So victory in one turn. You're attacking a target that doesn't matter. You are attacking a target that doesn't matter. Uh, it's an alpha beetle. But we can still just go... Whoop! And you'll fly into the lava. And... You can do this. And swap into the lava. And we can just move out of here. Take a repair. And I guess we can just punch you for fun. Because you die from fire. Yeah. So, actual win. Oh, finally. End that losing streak. Unless there's something I'm not seeing and then you all can laugh at me later. Alright, so fire damage, fire damage, fire damage. Somehow the bomb doesn't get taken out. And the bomb is ready to deploy. I recommend you leave now or your grave shall be with the Vec. Our war is not yet won. Keep traveling, keep fighting. Thanks, Abe. Farewell, Flay Behemoths. I won't forget you. See you, Bethany. And is this it? But will we see each other again? Maybe? Okay, see you, Lily. And what about our AI tank? No! Okay, got our victory squad. For f victories with four different squads. So. Ugh. That was a very long series of games with the Flay Behemoths, but... It's nice to be on the winning side again with all of our people surviving. We saved this many civilians and approximately 4.6 pe people on Earth. So, who do we want to take with us next? We secured four islands. Lily's been good. Bethany's been good. Abe's been good. Huh. Can't go wrong with Abe. All right, so we got a, that was a full achievement for run, and uh, we have some squads we can still unlock. We are one short of being able to unlock the rest of the game. The Steel Judoka and the uh, Blitzkrieger, who I can play next, and then once I get those done, we can do random squad and custom squad. Um, we have some achievements left. Like I was very close that last run to getting uh, what was it? There is no try. But I didn't, so we still have not gotten distant friends, which is just more of a matter of good luck or bad luck. And uh, we've only gotten seven perfect islands. We could have been a lot closer there. But yeah, we're going to unlock a different squad next time, just because we haven't seen it in a while. I, I, one thing that does make me a little sad compared to FTL is that we don't get knocked to the uh, achievement screen every time. So, Flame Behemoths, that was our personal best. Zenith Guard died at the end. Hazardous Max died at the end. Frozen Titans, which like destroyed the whole game, but I went in at three instead of four. So Flame Behemoths number one. That was not what I was expecting. I've done terrible with them every run until this run. But buying that extra set of rockets saved the uh, and at full price saved it. Saved it. So Ralph Carlson. Who who other stats do we have here? Lily over two. Fifty battles. Fifty kills. Nice efficiency. Abe. 64 kills now that's efficiency and uh bethany yeah uh but we'll do this again for sure uh that's it for now thanks for watching i had other thoughts in mind right now but yeah uh that was fun that was uh that was good and we'll do this again soon thanks for watching see you next time